tournament number eight. Ace and I are starting right across from the ramp. Had a back-to-back -back tournament. Had one last week. We had 17-ish pounds, 17 or more. Gonna start the day throwing a buzz bait. See what happens from there. Let's roll. All right, here we go, buzz bait. If I got bit right now, I don't know if I'd be able to catch the fish. We got rollers. We got rollers, boys. Hold on. It's like a washing machine. That one. Good one. Hello. Man, he took off like a rocket. Did he? He got. He's a little keeper, right? Yeah. Fish number one, going in on the jig. All right, spot number two. We're gonna try flipping some of this bluff wall with a bunch of wood on it. Oh. There we go. Oh. Two pounder. Jig. Fish number two. Dink. Nice catch. Dinkster. Jig. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, they're, they're eating the jig today. Shallow, yeah. I pitched it like a foot further than you did. Oh, you were like on the bank. Eh? Go a little shaky. Yeah, I'll take Oh, that cast nice. You know, later in the afternoon, that bite might turn on if that storm's rolling in, though. Yeah. Drop. The Stop. Yep. Oh, it just came off, man. Yeah, you were reeling it in. I was. It ate it on the reel. Suspended fish. I I got a real awkward hook set on that. Yeah. Dang. Right on the point. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's small, but he might be a keeper. Oh man, he's so freaking close. Look. Hey, that's it. Alright, that's fish number three. Maybe he is like, I mean, 14 on the dot. Hopefully, we just get to get rid of him, but we're gonna hold him just in case. Cut on a black and blue bassman jig. Ooh. That's a keeper. Bring him in. Where's he at? Ah. Ooh, he's gonna be close. How do they look bigger in the water? Yeah, they've been looking a lot bigger in the water. He he's actually a little shorter. Okay, well, short fish number, I don't know, three, four. Yeah. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> in the wood. All right, that's fish number four. Going in. Whoa. Maybe. Maybe. I saw my line just go, just stopped, and I was like, hmm. What was that on the left? Texas rig beaver. He's small. <laughs> point. I think the point bite is good. Very next cast. A little smally. We're gonna need him a little bigger. Yeah, it's a point. It's a point game today, I think. Do you have that jig on still? Yeah. Can I throw it? That uh, football head? Yeah. yeah. What do you have on there, 20? Yeah. Good. Nothing less than 20. It's not allowed. Got one? <laughs> Good one? Oh, he's a keeper though, it looks like. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dealy. I was, Why? I set the hook on him twice. <laughs> <laughs> the double, the shark hook set. Oh yeah, he's definitely a keeper. Good work. On the daily. Fish number five. I thought I was coming up the point, so I was like, I pulled up, and it was like, boop, boop. So I was like <laughs> here we go. Let's hit the hook one more time. The double hook set. <laughs> Can't tell if it's, oh it is. It's a pig. Yeah. Oh no, it's not a pig, but it's good. 
I thought it was way bigger than that, but that's still, it's three. It's so funny, I don't know if that's a bike. I, it didn't, I didn't, there was no, hang on, look at his belly, he's sitting in the bottom. Limit, oh, look at all the bait under us, dude. Here we go, on Ace's rod, on the football, Jay. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> 902, limit. It's actually a questionable limit because that one fish is 13.999. We need some more of those three pounders. Got one. How's it feel? Feels decent. Stay down. It doesn't feel really big though. Until now. <laughs> Good call. Nice. That'll call. That's heavy. Yeah. Quick, put him down, put him down. Just kidding. Let me get some pliers. You can deal with that. <laughs> Cole fish, he's probably two and a half. Pushing three. 10 o'clock right now. Ace and I have a limit. We've culled one fish and we're finding them to be eating on points pretty good. That's the majority of all the fish we've caught today. They've come on points. So, caught them on jigs, Texas rig, crankbait, the Dealey, which is a scrounger. Uh, what else? Shh, shh, shh. I missed one on the shaky head too early on in the day. But we're just going to keep fishing points and hopefully upgrade a few more. We have two three pounders two pounder and the rest are really small we need to get rid of those three and we'll be feeling real good hopefully the bike keeps going we're gonna go fish some more points got him oh backside or front all right that's a call for sure swim jig <laughs> what is that three no two and a half, two and a half. that's no def tail. definitely a call though that was so weak. Good catch. That's the first swim jig fish. There you go. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, that was close. You saw that. We almost had a fish jump out. One of our big ones, too. God, there is so much. Oh, there's a crankbait. In this log right here. It's a good one, too. Check that out. Don't mind if I do. Right, I'm gonna fish this bait for 20 minutes. Yeah. If I don't get bit, I'll switch plastics up. Try to go to like black and blue or something. This should be a fish. I don't know who this dude thinks he is or where the... F yeah, it's in the tree. It's stuck in the tree. I don't know if he's still on there. Oh, he is, he is, he is. Feels good, too. Oh, he's out. Is he? Yep. Oh, right here. <laughs> What'd you say? There should be a fish in this tree? Yeah. <laughs> he's two and a half. Yeah, that's a nice one. All right. There we go. That was pretty uh, nerve-wracking. Huh? Damn, Ollie. <laughs> nice fish. What was that on? The super hog. All right, guys. So we switched gears a little bit, moved away from the points, started flipping, and I put on a Texas rig, three eighths ounce uh, bullet weight, with the old super hog. Just flipping this tree right here. Fish got stuck in it. Actually, it was pretty nerve wracking. Got lucky. It popped out. That fish, Ace. I pulled up. I like felt the bite. I went like this, and my rod just goes. Choop. Oh yeah, like straight down. Thanks, dude. Dude just straight up cut us off. Literally cut us off. Not the white boat, the one directly in front of us. We trolled right in on us. That's fine. This point's gonna be good. Ooh, there's some really good stuff out there. It's insane how much, I've like never felt all that. That's gotta be like a big tree or something out there. I bet you there's fish on it too. I'm still in it. Like, dude, I bet you there's fish out there on that stuff. Got him. Yep, feels good. 
He's fighting real good. He's not huge, but he's the biggest or close to. Oh, that's a call. I thought he was bigger than that. And he fought hard as hell. All right, there we go. It's right, so another call. I I honestly don't know. <laughs> All right, so we came down. We're fishing this point after flipping for a while, and there's like a bunch of stuff out on this point. All right, I'm gonna retie really quickly because my line's all chewed up. But real quick, just want to show you guys. This is a super hog. Just throwing it Texas rigged. Shit, yours is a super hog. What's mine? There we go. <laughs> yeah, brush hog. Oh, yours is a brush hog. Yeah. Now, the, see, look. The only difference is it has like a beaver tail. Ah. So for you guys too, the only difference between a super hog and a brush hog, it has more of a beaver styled tail to it instead of the two curly tails. Another quick tip for you guys at home, always check your aerators. Look at all that, it's like scales and nasty food and stuff the fish have been spitting up. Cause that will make it so it does not properly flow. Stay cool, stay cool. Nice. We got one hour left to fish. We're gonna just continue down this bank. We caught it uh, maybe like two cold fish ago. We're gonna fish a little bit deeper, fish some of this wood. Hopefully we can get on a couple bigger ones. So it's actually about to start storming here soon. So hopefully that'll just kind of kick them on. Maybe get a couple of the big ones to bite. Have them, biggest fish of the day, what do you think? Three and a half? Three and a half, almost four. Yeah, three and a half, almost four. So we need to upgrade that to like a five. That'd be good. But we got an hour left, so. Nice. Is it? Keep her down. Yep. There we go. That's a call. Good job, Ace. What'd you switch to? Flapping hog? Yeah. Nice. That's a chunky one. There you go. There's your fish. I'm going to give them a minute to settle down. Take some of these out. Oh god! Ah. Come on! See guys, that's why you gotta be very careful when you're messing with the live well. Jesus! Nice. I don't know. That was funny. Alright, last cast. Come on, baby. Be a big one. Alright, let's go. Yes, he does. Boat number five. five. I'm sorry. Boat number five. 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 How many fish? Six. Boat five. Six fish. It's a small one, yeah. I think it's a small one. Yeah. All right. Nineteen point zero three. Solid. All right guys, so that was a super fun tournament Ace and I did really well. We finished with 19 pounds and just an overall sweet day. The fish were biting all day long and on a bunch of different baits. We caught fish on shaky heads, jigs, Texas rigs. We caught them on the dealy, we caught them on crankbaits and the bite just seemed to last all day. We had one lull, probably of an hour or so, but I mean, when they're biting like that, any day on the water is freaking awesome. Huge shout out to our buddy Matt McCluskey and Tyler Foltz. They came in second place. We fish with these guys all the time. They're good friends. 23 pounds and change, solid work. And our buddy got gills, Alex and Spencer got big fish, like a 611 donkey. It was a stud. Caught it on a buzz bait too. But really fun tournament. Ace and I also did really well for the yearly standings. We moved from 18th place up to 14th, so feeling pretty good about that. We are in the cut. We just can't screw any of the next tournaments up. But we have six left, really looking forward to all of those. And also, the whole month of July, I'm gonna be fishing every single day, doing a 30-day fishing challenge. I want you guys to comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you wanna see during these 30 days. So I'll be gearing up for that. Got a couple other videos coming out this week. Till then, see ya.